Take a look, the fire has now burned more than 67,000 acres. Sadly, 80 structures have been destroyed or damaged, and the fire is holding at 20% containment. Keep in mind, more than 38,000 firefighters are working to tackle the flames across Placer in El Dorado County. And tonight, we're getting a firsthand look at the impact this week-long firefight is having on crews and evacuees. Sometimes we're sleeping in the dirt. Sometimes we get a hotel if we're lucky enough. Um, we like to get back, try to shower up, get a good meal. But these firefighters keep their spirits up by uplifting each other. And when that doesn't work, firefighters are offered mental support. I love doing it. I love being here. I'm happy to help. You can see the white smoke billowing up there. There's a lot of hot spots in there that need to be taken care of. There are crews actually working in there as well as around that bend. This is, is really, really been tough. <laughs> Linda Hoffman has owned a home in Forest Hill for 16 years and had to leave behind some of her pets. And my kids don't know, but that's, that's, uh, I hope it's going to be all right. It has been a long week filled with anxiety and uncertainty for residents in Forest Hill, forced to evacuate and leave their homes as the fast-moving mosquito fire continues to spread throughout El Dorado and Placer County. The nightmares are tremendous. Uh, and the kids, uh, it's really hard on the kids. It's, they'll, they'll cry out in their sleep. Despite the hardships the past week has brought, Hoffman is trying to focus on the positive, the sense of community at the evacuation center at Sierra College in Rockland. Everybody is always in the morning's day. Uh, so and so, you need something? I have a little extra over here. Would you like to share? And there, there is no strife. There is no bickering. There is no anger. Of course, our thoughts are with everyone impacted by this fire. And so listen to this. Placer County SPCA Adoption and Education Center is now giving free pet food and supplies for those who need it. Evacuees who are sheltering with their pets can pick up items as needed. No appointment is necessary, and you can visit from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. each day. Now keep in mind, you do need to show that you live in the impacted area. And if you'd like to make a donation, visit abc10.com links for more information. Meanwhile, Chief Meteorologist Monica Woods is standing by with a look at conditions now, Monica. We're still looking at the hot spots, Chris, as we went through the afternoon, still multiple spots, especially on the east side of the flank. As you mentioned, it's over 67,000 acres burned now. Winds tonight at about eight miles per hour. You can see some of the hot spots still developing at this hour. Now, most of those winds are going to be down Canyon, so we're going to see a much better opportunity to get the upper hand on this fire. Still approaching a bit off to the north towards I-80, but it's over a couple of ridge tops that it would have to get over. And tonight, those winds are going to move that smoke back towards the foothills. So look how much smoke we start to see in areas like Placerville, Pollock Pines, even towards Auburn. A very hazy start to our Friday. Once those west winds kick in, we'll see more of that smoke move uphill into the Tahoe Basin to start off our Friday afternoon. As far as our weather pattern, though, for the weekend, we are looking at a big shift. Breezy chance of showers, but unfortunately, it comes with mixed news. Ahead of that system, some gusty winds. So Saturday, the firefight is going to be dangerous. Sunday, rain begins. Monday, a chance for some thunderstorms, even a few snow flurries. Tuesday, some lingering showers. Tonight, a beautiful evening. 60s and 50s down low, 40s up top for this era. Hour by hour forecast, a little warmer tomorrow afternoon, back into the mid 80s, but all eyes on that weekend storm.